Ticket number 1,005,002, please. Follow me, please. We'll be ready for you in just a second. Would you like something to drink? Battery acid. Uh, synthetic resin. Oh, all the better. We're out anyway. I apologize for the long wait time. There's lots of souls coming in uh, for an interview nowadays, so it took a couple millennia longer than we expected. A uh, demon will be with you shortly. Oh, did you bring your CV? Your uh, charity value report. You know, the document they gave you at check-in into the afterlife. Oh, please don't tell me you dropped it into the lava pool in the waiting area. In, in which case, I'm telling you right now, you'll need to revisit check-in and then return to the back of the line. Ah, <sighs> very good. You're a reasonable soul, it seems, then. You would think incidents like burnt CVs would be a rather rare occurrence. Uh, but some people seem to get impatient and do all sorts of outrageous things. Seeing as we're quite understaffed at the moment, it looks like I have been assigned to interview you. Uh, all the better. Uh, show me your proof of death and uh, CV, please. Proof of death uh, looks okay. Ooh, rather gruesome cause. I like it. <laughs> you can make it pretty far in this world with a proper cause of death. Not everyone's as lucky as you to have died in such a respectable manner. Uh, now, I assume you know that a negative charity value of a thousand is necessary to enter hell without having to go through the interview process. That's why you're here, after all. Oh, unless Lucifer assigned waiting as a punishment again. In which case, I'd appreciate being told so before I let you answer all these questions. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh! I've never seen something like this before. Sure, there's people with just a couple hundred points. But, um, zero. You're truly neutral. You're aware that even with a successful interview, most applicants over minus 500 still aren't granted admission to hell, right? Oh, well, uh, let's give it a shot then, shall we? All we've got to lose is time, and we've got plenty of that down here. Ahem. <clears throat> um, so, let's take a look at your past lives then. You've lived through uh, ten so far. Is that correct? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It seems like some of these are pretty unremarkable. <laughs> A lot of goody two-shoes type stuff. Oh, though, I'm very intrigued by your second life. Oh, we, we don't have to talk about the specifics, obviously. Straight A's across the board for this one. Your low donation stats, lie count, sin meter, etc. all look pretty good to me. And your lack of faith during this time was phenomenal. Lots of achievements during your lifetime. A picture-perfect life of sin and selfish gain. So the one question that remains about this life is... What motivated you to reach such excellence? Surely it mustn't have been that easy to be this selfish. What was your reasoning? Oh, I get it. <laughs> it was only your second life, so the memory can be a bit blurry. But, but please, uh, try to remember as much as you can. I'm trying to turn this conversation into a direction that favors you. But you need to cooperate. Because, honestly speaking, I'm not very impressed with the rest of your lives. Uh. Sure, you had an amazing start and showed a lot of potential very early on, but your charity value has been completely deplenished again by the lives that followed. Where did that spark go? Where's that seed of evil that used to be so prominently within you? <sighs> All right, let's go on then. You're not making this easy on me. Oh, let's see. Your third life seemed pretty promising at first. Uh, you cheated your way through school and college. Became a successful CEO. 
amassed more wealth than most could even dream of, <laughs> yelled at your employees daily, and supported, ooh, morally questionable business practices. Uh, but then, and I cannot stress how much this disappoints me, you decided to leave your fortune to several organizations helping kids in need. Mm, do you realize that your charity value is affected by what happens with your legacy, even after death? Seriously, this one could have been huge. <sighs> well, not as great as the previous life, of course. But it could have swayed your score over into the negative by a good bit. <sighs> what a waste. Seriously. Uh, let's <laughs> skip over the fourth. That score makes my skin crawl. Fifth one doesn't seem too bad, though. No major donations, rarely held any doors open. Ooh, you even stole a seat from a pregnant lady on the bus once. Uh, but, unfortunately, all those little victories seem to be weighed up by equally little losses. Returned a wallet, smiled at a baby, a couple too many church visits. See, if you had kept up all those small little deeds throughout all your ten lives and then held back on the God-honoring stuff, you could have easily made it to around 600 negative points. Way better chance at getting into hell. Maybe even into the inner rings. No, it, it's not always about being the worst. You can still be, uh, mediocrely awful and still make it somewhere in life. But it seems you've given up after a couple of lives, which is very sad, to be honest. I know you would have had the ability to go truly awful. But here we are. You know, I am not sure there's much sense in continuing this interview. I mean, sure, your seventh life is pretty good. You even murdered someone. But it was neither cruel nor for vengeance. Unfortunately, taking someone out with a score of minus 1,200 doesn't count much towards your own score as protecting others is seen as an honorable deed by most of the mortal population. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, as much as I'd like to make a better outcome happen for you, the gates of hell won't just open for someone who's occasionally stepped on a puppy paw. Uh, um, oh, t tell you what, uh, why don't you try your luck at heaven instead? You've got a score of zero, after all. If you're uh, eligible for an interview here, um, you should qualify to take one at the pearly gates as well. Um, maybe that'll go better for you. Now, uh, uh, not that it's nearly as much fun up there as here, but it might be your best option. Unless you want to try again and live another life. Good luck in heaven. Have an awful day.